welcome to the revival the revival of the village of west greenville which has been happening over the last five years and also revival butchery an old school butcher putting a new twist on things so let's see what this revival is all about Hey everyone, this is Donald Barber with the J. Michael Manley team at Keller Williams Greenville Upstate and today our small business spotlight is here at Revival Butchery in the village of West Greenville and we're here with owner Jeremy Webb today. Jeremy, thank you so much for having us out. Yeah, thanks for coming over. And Jeremy, uh, tell us a little bit more about what uh, the name behind Revival Butchery yeah. and your location here. What made you want to come to the village of West Greenville? Yeah. Uh, I'm a bit of a revivalist, uh, but it's often been said of my job as a butcher that we're a dying breed or it's a dying trade or some, something like that. So it, the name kind of struck me um, even before I uh, started my business that that would be a perfect name for this, uh, this business, trying to keep alive something that has almost almost gone away, yeah. uh, or to or to bring it back, and it wound up being quite um, you know befitting of the village of West Greenville, as it was rather a ghost town reviving in itself. the past ten yeah. years. So it kind of kind of worked out that I came to um, the village of West Greenville, I'm born and raised right here in Greenville. See here in the two display cases here, you have a wide variety of meat. So, uh, tell us a little bit about what you carry here. What's maybe your most unique uh, cut of meat, and also some of your more popular choices with the public. Okay. Uh, doing whole animal butchery, getting in sides of beef, we're able to do some unique cuts that you don't just see at the supermarket or, or anywhere else. Uh, we offer a lot of. Uh, you know, unique cuts like picanha, which is like the Brazilian steakhouse kind of cut, or culotte steak, or hanger steak, or some of these other uh, lesser known or butcher's cuts, they call them sometimes, uh, that, that are really fun, really fun for us to, to carry and offer and to let people try that yeah. have never had them before. Uh, some of our most popular sellers are sausages, actually. We're known for our sausage making. We make over 40 different kinds of sausage in house. Wow. Um, some really unique handed down recipe type sausages from old butchers that I learned under uh, to very obscure original recipe sausages like our Thai fried garlic sausage or our chicken shawarma sausage. Uh, we do some really, really fun and unique sausages in house. All right, so uh, you told us a little bit about the meats. Where exactly do you get yeah. them from? Is it local or do you have to go from other states in some cases? And tell us a little bit also about your local vendors. I saw someone just drop off some eggs yeah. and some other products. And uh, yeah, let us know a little bit about that. We've been working with local farms from day one and it's been a, a big part of our, uh, of our in, integrating uh, the community as far as you know, sourcing from really small family farms. We're a really small family owned business uh, with a handful of staff too so we like to help others in the community that that are small families such as Johnson Creek Farm. We've been working with those guys from day one. Uh, we get everything from eggs, whole chickens, sides of beef, uh, as well as uh, some other farms, Providence and Freyloop. We get whole hogs from those guys. Uh, but we're after you know top-notch quality heritage breed stuff primarily. So uh, there's some other farms in North Carolina we get uh, some some nice uh, orchard pork from. Uh, and, some other local <laughs> offerings that we have that are not necessarily farms, but made here in the Greenville area. Uh, some of the sauces we make, you know, we, we carry in the, uh, some of the rubs there. Uh, Drew's special rub is made right here in the village of West Greenville. Uh, Young's is, is out of Fountain Inn. Uh, and several others, Dobby Q, he's from right here in, in the Greenville area. Uh, we love we love supporting those guys, but really also just getting to know them too. Uh, it's been been really great 
to be able to get to know them and, and, and build relationships with those guys. Yeah. Uh, you even have a guy you said that comes up a, for a day or two each week uh, that lives here uh, that brings in from shrimp or seafood. That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've been hosting Broadwater Shrimp Company here uh, since uh, the start of the summer, I guess, or the late spring when shrimp season opens. And um, he's here uh, out front selling selling local shrimp, or as local as you can get it around here. You know, um, uh, coastal shrimp uh, here every weekend. Um, what else? We do get some specialty prime uh, beef and, and meat from from out of the state as well I mentioned North Carolina but we even get some nice uh, American lamb and uh, veal and even some prime beef from Colorado lamb is uh, the best lamb in the, in the world in my opinion is from Colorado yeah uh, so you know um, all kinds of stuff um, as long as it's you know top-notch quality and sustainable is you know a big deal too uh, making sure it's, it's uh, not only top quality at the end result but top quality all throughout the process of uh, getting to here so obviously here at Revival Butchery, you're bringing back a very old school style of uh, the butcher that we would have seen many years ago and, and actually putting a modern spin on it as well. So in, in terms of customer service uh, with you and your staff, you know, what are some important things when the public comes in that you want to make sure they're taken care of on? Customer service is... I don't know, but maybe some over overplayed words in our in our culture today. But some of the things we do here that that are that pertain to customer service are as timeless as how you were saying, or kind of a classic old school butcher shop, as timeless as carrying someone's groceries out, uh, like you would imagine a, a, a butcher shop doing, uh, you know, a hundred years ago. Um, we still try to maintain that sort of personal. You know, you know, it's not just about carrying the groceries out. We, we want to get to know people in our community and build relationships with people in our community. And you know, when, when COVID struck, we immediately started delivering to some of our shut-ins and our elderly customers who could no longer or, would, or, or were unable to or couldn't get out um, and, and have since decided to proceed with a, a local delivery offered to everyone. Yeah. Um, so that that's uh, something that we just saw a need for here in the community and, and tried to go after it. Uh, but they, you know, everything from uh, the way we wrap up everything or make sure that your eggs make it <laughs> yeah. to the front seat of the car uh, without one, you know, getting cracked or yeah. anything like that. Uh, following through the whole step of the way as close as we can to get it to your table. Jeremy, where can we find you online and through social media to learn more about Revival Butchery? Well, the best way, I guess, is our website, which is revivalbutchery.com. Uh, we also have an Instagram account set up where we frequently post uh, new pictures or stories, happenings, and things that other people post. We try to try to share those as well. Um, you know, calling us directly with questions is really a great, you know, maybe the old school way, but yeah, really yeah. maybe the best way. 912 777 8000 uh, is the, the best way to get in touch with us. Uh, there's a, an email list that we do mm -hmm. uh, that you can sign up for through our website as well. Jeremy, thank you so much for your time today and letting us know a little bit more about Revival Butchery and how, how we can find out more about you online. And I can tell you personally out there, uh, the beef short ribs and brisket burgers, which are in this case right behind us here, are amazing. Thank you. As long as, uh, and, and as well as some of the uh, different rubs and sauces that they have here are really good as well. And obviously, there's a revival going on here in the uh, village of West Greenville. Yes, sir. And the revival here at Revival Butchery. Yeah. Check them out online and stop by here on Pendleton and uh, find out more about them and Thank pick you. up some things for the holidays coming up. Father's Day and uh, July 4th and summertime is for grilling, right? That's right. That's right. All right, until then, we'll see you next time. Thank you.